They already told me you're next. English is my primary language, so I thought I had it done. How you doing, Judd Eaton? Give yourselves a big round of applause, all 16 of you. The little gay guy is here. And I noticed you right away, sir, for a whole bunch of different reasons. You don't have to be gay to be in my spank bank, all right? Let me tell you something. I told you last week I was moving. I'm helping out my brother and his wife who moved here from Phoenix. I am living. 70 years old, my mother. I'm 50. You want to talk about being 21 and living with your mother? Try being 50 and living with your 71-year-old mother. Where? And on top of the world, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, you have no idea. I got home from work the other night at 11.30, okay? The guy at the gatehouse had the thing down. They never have the thing down. I tell you what, he quizzed me. Who's your mother? Where she lives? What's your dog look like? I thought I was going to have to pull out papers. Papers and identification to at the top of the world. And I got out front on the balcony, the veranda, to smoke a cigarette. And I'm looking around, I'm thinking, you have got to be the only one awake right now. If you're not familiar with the top of the world, I describe it like a Borg cube for the elderly. If you're familiar with Star Trek, it's like a Borg cube for the elderly. Uh, somebody asked me, are any of the ladies chasing you around? Fresh meat. Since when is 50-year-old meat fresh? It is not. And as far as the chasing goes, it's top of the world. You ever see any of them run? I've had a couple of them shuffle after me, but I work out, so she couldn't catch up with me. They also have a gay and lesbian organiza organization over at Top of the World, and it finally entered my mind. A sugar granddaddy? Would I be hot at 50 to a 75? Ooh, that makes me throw up a little in my mouth just thinking about it. Who wants to wait in line with the kids and the grandkids? When the lawyer reads the will with the family looking at me like, I hope the little homo doesn't get a dime. It could happen. Uh, living with my mother is very, very interesting. The other morning I get up, I had not had my coffee yet. I was doing something in the freezer. Is that the light or is it pictures? You didn't give me the light yet. Oh, pictures. Eight by tens available in the lobby. Uh, but I looked at her and I said, please, mom, please. Do not tell me how to make ice. Please, okay? Don't tell me how to make ice. Have you had ice when you were at my house? Who do you think made it? The ice fairy? Actually, the ice fairy did make it. I wrote the recipe down. I know how to make ice. Well, you're warm enough. Did you need another blanket? It's fucking June in Florida, Mom. The last thing I need is another blanket. I barely need this sheet except for the naked sleeping, which I can't do at my mother's house because that's the night the place will catch fire and I'll have to run outside with all the other old people naked. I just can't let it happen like that. There was a lady last night walking her dog after midnight and she's got a flashlight. I don't know if she had one of those old people things, but the flashlight's going everywhere. I thought Batman was coming. And... I thought to my, you know, I made fun of them. I stood out there and I've ripped them all up. Look at her. You tennis balls on the walker. You go, Grandma. But I mean, she was walking her dog at midnight. And at top of the world, she was able to walk her dog at midnight. She was in a safe place. I know, I talked to the guy at the gate. She was in a safe place where she felt able to walk her dog after midnight. And I thought, you go. And she's walking. She's, she, she puts the flashlight on me. I'm like... You know, it was just a natural reaction growing up in the Bronx. You know. But uh, I said hello to her, and she said hello, and she said she's sick. And I said, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm going to take her home tomorrow, or take her to the vet tomorrow. And I said, oh, okay, well, good luck with that. And she said, yeah. And I could swear I saw her wiping a tear away. I don't know if she was taking the dog for medicine or taking the dog and not bringing it home. Uh-huh, that's how I felt too. I didn't cry or anything, I'm not that gay. But, you know, uh, I thought to myself, maybe she's lost her husband, her kids don't really give a shit about her, and here she is, that dog's probably the only thing, and I said, all right, God, I'm sorry I made fun of all these people here on top of the world, but please, God, please let her dog live. And what's left in this bucket? And I'm glad I didn't get the first period one. I'm getting the last one. We can pick up a bunch of these. Well, I guess I can't take three or four of them now, can I? This better be a good one.
bananas. My mother's making me fucking bananas over at On Top of the World. Yeah, I don't, it's indefinite. I don't know if I'll be there a month and a half or two months. I think if I'm there any longer than two months, I will probably go rent a room on a month-to-month -month basis, or else you're gonna see me on Bay News 9, 50-year-old kill 70-year-old mother and on top of the world. My name is Chris Curry, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for staying. Thank you for staying. I buy you all a drink, but I don't know you that well. I buy you a drink. <laughs> See your boyfriend? See your boyfriend? Oh. Mama, all right, all right. Why do you make this awkward for me, Chris?